right, what we're going to do here then is we're going to split a piece of wood here to make the two ends for our gate hurdle. So we've got our piece of wood in our cleaving brake and we're just going to use the throw and the mallet to start the split. So just hold it on the top, a good firm hit and then bring it up into the cleaving brake. And you can see that the, the crack is already starting to run down there. All we need to do now is just push the throw in a little further and lever and you can see the crack starting to run further down the piece of wood and there we go so we just pop that off the end and now we have the two pieces of the wood and you can see down there most of the way down there you can see the center line of the wood so these will be the two pieces of wood for the end these will be the uprights at the end of our gate hurdle what we've now got is a half round piece of wood here that we're going to actually split to make the rails of our gate hurdle. So the process is very much the same. Put the throw onto the top of the piece of wood, hit it firmly with the mallet and drive it in. And again, straight away, you can see the crack coming down through the piece of wood. Just put it up into the cleaving brake, lean on that, and then look down through there and you can see there we go, there's the piece of wood. We go back into the workshop and start the shaving down process for these bits. Right, now a lot of the work was actually done on the trimming block. So using the Bodger's axe, the specialist axe, just to trim down and remove some of the bigger pieces of wood before you got onto the draw knife inside of things. So there we go, just take the big edge off the front of there, turn it round, do the same on the other side. That's it, and then just the same on the back, just take the edges off. It's easier to actually remove quite a lot of the wood with an axe than it is to keep doing it with the draw knife. There we go, let's do the other end as well. Right, so we come over to the shave horse now with our piece of trimmed wood. Now we're going to be using a draw knife here and just chafing down our wood that we've split into the shape of the actual rail that we want to make our gate hurdle. The wood is obviously fresh wood, nice and green, and with a good sharp draw knife you can fairly quickly start to draw it down into shape. What you're actually trying to achieve here is a round that will then fit into the hole that you're going to drill in the upright. So we just try and shape it down and then use the test hole that we have here to see if it'll actually fit. Right, so there you go, that's quite happily fitting into the hole there. So now we know that that's fairly good fit, so we now need to just remove the rest of the bark and shape the piece of work. Just spin the wood round, again using the old shave horse here, nice and easily there, just drawing it down. And then of course we've got to do the same thing on the other end, draw it down to a round as well. So earlier on, we split a piece of wood in half. What we would now use is this gauge. And basically all that does is allows us to mark the piece of wood and show where all of the holes go on there. It just saves measuring it out every time you do it. Now, we're gonna drill a hole through there, put the piece of wood into the vise, and then using a, a conventional bracing bit, we'll drill the holes. Now, needless to say, you want it in the middle of the piece of wood, and also each one to be fairly level. So there we go, with the bracing bit, keep it level and even. People complain about old tools saying they don't work, but if they're prepared properly and sharpened well, I think they work a lot of the time nearly as well as some of the modern electric drills. So just move it up now so that we can drill through the rest of the holes in that end rail.
drills come through the back of there. Just need to go back to the shave horse now and just tidy up some of those holes on the back of the piece of wood. Draw a knife across the hole and just tidy up those rough edges. Again, we tend to do this much more finely than they would have done. They would have been much more rough and readily made in the past. Right, here we go then. These are all of the bits and pieces we will need for our gate hurdle. So what we do, just lay one of the sides down on the floor and then just take our rails and our mallet, put the first one in the hole, give it a tap, and then hold it with your foot whilst you do the same thing for the rest of them. And if they've all been trimmed up as they should be, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now we just need the other half. So just capture the first one, come across, capture the second one, and so on, down the side. If there are any problems, if it's gone a bit twisted, you can ease them. And the other thing you can sometimes do, if they're slightly out of line, you can just twist them round. So now all we do, is lay our gate hurdle down onto the floor and go and get the other rails that we need to finish it off. Sometimes with your piece of wood you'll find that it's got quite an interesting curve in it. So you then look to use that curve. So we would then use those to make up the other bits and pieces. Then all you do is cut those to shape and nail them into place. Here now you can see the nails have been driven through the rails and then bent over. It's what they call clinching. So these nails are clinched over and they act like rivets holding the gate together. 